И у меня тут еще есть немножко батарейки. Я решил поснимать просто дорогу шоссе между разными городами. Сейчас я движусь, двигаюсь в сторону океана. Не знаю, наверное, на океан у меня уже батарейки не хватит. Но на окрестную дорогу, по идее, дороги, батарейки хватит. Смотрим. make progress for more than 75 years from the Walton Family Foundation working to prepare all students for a lifetime of opportunity by ensuring access to high quality K-12 choices more information is available at waltonk12.org and from the Wallace Foundation a source of ideas for improving education and enrichment for children both in and out of school more information is available at wallacefoundation.org It's all things considered from NPR West. I'm Tess Viglund. It's been just over a month since the death of Sandra Bland, a black woman who was found hanged in a te Texas jail after her arrest during a traffic stop. Local authorities ruled that Bland committed suicide, but her family and friends have questioned that finding. Since her death, activists have braved the summer heat to demonstrate outside the jail. From Houston Public Media, Saida Hassan reports. It's another 100 degree day in Hempstead, Texas. The Reverend Hannah Bonner has been camped outside the Waller County Jail for hours. It's really hot out here. <laughs> so we, we, uh, we, we talk, we play the guitar, we pray. Bonner is one of dozens of activists holding a daily vigil at the jail for the past month. She finds shade under a tent and plays a song to pass the time. For the past month. It's taken people um, some time for, of us sitting out here. And now that we've been out here long enough, it seems like our courage is giving other people courage to speak up. Bonner says connections like these can only be made in person. And that's what keeps her coming back to Hempstead every day in the 100 degree heat. For NPR News, I'm Saida Hassan in Houston. Police departments across the country are under more scrutiny than ever because of incidents like the one in Texas. For a lesson in how to move forward, they could turn to the LAPD. In the 80s and 90s, Los Angeles was trapped in a cycle of crime, crack, and gang warfare. Journalist Joe Dominic says back then, the LAPD just made things worse with its crime-fighting strategy. Which is to go into those communities, act like an army of occupation, and prove to them that they were tougher than everybody else. And it was a, it was a really disastrous policy, and the people in those communities um, reacted to that kind of policing. That and Rod, the beating of Rodney King led to um, 92 riot. Joe Dominic follows that recent history of the LAPD. Ну что, друзья мои, последние кадры моей умирающей батарейки я посвящаю вот этому виду на Атлантический океан. Мы сейчас находимся в городе Белфаст, штат Мэйн, и, собственно, движемся к океанским волнам. Батарейка сейчас помрет, так что не удивляйтесь, когда внезапно закончится видео. Предупреждаю заранее. Ой, думаю, лучше снимать отсюда. Непередаваемый запах волны. Я чувствую себя дома. В том плане, что в Питере пахнет точно так же. Валя. Ну, давайте маленькое обозрение. Здесь очень много я. Видите? Очень много. Вот там вдалеке маяк. Вон он.